the Pro Wrestling League season the postponed to my will be. Up what pair? Asmi Dangal Ka. Subse Pella Mukabla Purushoke, Chota Kilogram Vartme. Mumbai, Maharati Kiosiare, Azerbaijan Ke, Mulk, Jebrai. So the second semi-final gets underway. Our first contest, men's 74 kilograms. And what a contest it promises to be in the red corner. Jabrail Hasanov from Azerbaijan representing Mumbai uh, Maharati. And for NCR Punjab Royals, it's Jitendra. And nicely poised this one because there's the referee, Edit Doza. But these two haven't actually met the Win loss record for Jabral Hasanov was 4 0, but the one person he didn't meet was Jachendra, and he has won two and lost one. Absolutely, but this contest is underway now. Open. I'm Raman Vanot with me, John Taylor, and this is the second semi final. Mumbai Maharati is up against the NCR Punjab Royals. These two sides did face off against each other in the group stage, and that's where the NCR Punjab Royals team was victorious they won it 4-3 but that was a best of seven remember this is a best of nine contest so you've got nine bouts no weight categories can be blocked and as John was saying a little while ago these two haven't faced off against each other in the group stage so first in I think the key scenario here for Jitendra is he's up against the Olympic bronze medalist does he let that overawe him I don't think he's doing that at the moment he's really on the offensive but Finally, Hasanov is the man who scores the first points, gets the takedown. Remember, Hasanov is that bronze medalist. You'd expect him, therefore, to be favorite. Desperately trying to roll this man over now. He's not going to succeed. Edit Doza takes them back to the middle of the match. Gabriel Hasanov is in the white and blue singlet with the red belt uh, around the waist. He's in the red corner. And Hasanov's uh, got the initial scoring underway. Red, no block. Dark blue singlet is what Jitendra is wearing. Extra blue, extra red. And Jitendra to come into this with plenty of confidence he was slow to get going lost his first match he was then blocked won the next two but was blocked against Haryana as well ought to be fresh now is he going to be pushed out is it a takedown or push out no it's a push out just the one so three points to Jabrail Hasanov Can't let it slip uh, away from him like this, Jitendra. Three points, uh, the deficit. Still about 55 seconds left in the opening round. And remember, there is another round of three minutes to come after this. So he can't really let Hasanov run away with the contest in the opening round itself. Apology for Jitendra for an illegal grip there. As the finger bending that he was doing is what uh, caught Edith Doza's eye. Goes for a single leg hold as Jitendra, but he's left himself vulnerable. And it's going to be another takedown by Jabril Hasanov. Two more points. And now the Azerbaijan grappler looking to roll his opponent over as well. Went for the all-out attack, trying to level things up. And uh, 
couldn't make the leg hold count and if you go into that position and stake everything on making it your problem is that you leave yourself vulnerable that was uh that's Elisa Marzuliak who's warming up behind the scenes remember she's still some uh, got some time to go before her bout gets under it's the fourth bout of the day for the moment uh, time about running out in this opening round yes it's a five to nothing lead for Jabril Hasanov just a little while ago we saw Maria Stadnik and Andre Stadnik seated there now remember apart from the nine bouts that are slated for the semi-final there's a special bout as well that's coming up later tonight I won't spill the beans on that just yet but for the moment the second round of this contest gets underway Hasanov up against Jitendra he's got a five-point lead Jitendra in the dark strip is the man with it all to do A lot of times what happens is, John, when you've got a lot to do, you take too many risks. And that's when you leave yourself vulnerable. You can end up conceding points. I agree, Raman. Uh, in fact, even at three points to uh, the good, there was enough of dominance from Asanov for Jutendra to take a big risk going for that single leg hold. And that's where suddenly it went out to five instead of three. Jitendra had a goal at the Commonwealth Championships in Singapore in 2016, but this is a different ball game altogether. He's up against the Olympic bronze medalist. It's a tough ask for him. Tries to go for a single leg hole. Look at the defense of Jabril Hasanov. And the upper body strength, that's what helps him push his opponent out. And for that push out, he gets another point. Yeah, very quick feet from Hasanov. Remember, Chitendra had beaten terror Gaprin Dash really when the bout took place versus the UP Dungal side. And that was one high point for him. Erika Weeb, the current Olympic champion, warming up. Remember, she will be in action against uh, Vasiliza in the fourth bout of the day, the women's 75. Open, red, no block. Red open. That's enough. Knowing he's got a really good lead here, seven points. And, uh, oh, is this a chance? Oh, he's turned it around again for a moment. It was Hasanov under pressure, but he then got round behind Jitendra and gained himself another two points. Really absolutely in control of this as we go into the final minute of the bout. That's uh, Andre Stadnik along with uh, Maria Stadnik, uh, remember? Andrea Stadnik will be in action. Remember, he was the 2008 uh, Olympic gold medalist. And there's a special bout slated for later tonight, John, where the yog guru Baba Ramdev will be up in the, on the mat in a contest against Stadnik. But for the moment, this is the first takedown being affected by Jitendra. The first points for him as uh, Sangeeta Fogart looks on. And in comes a protest sponge from the blue corner. I think they want more. I think they want a turnover as well. I think what they were looking at is maybe a takedown from a standing position and maybe a four-point uh, cushion is what they were looking for. So, yes, the protest is being lodged. Jitendra has agreed to it. He's really got nothing to lose. He's so far behind. His only half chance, really, of getting back into it is to turn this into a four-pointer. And uh, he would then just about be in range to launch another attack but we haven't seen one protest upheld as yet yes he's gone to the mat chairman within the malik and i think we'll have to take a look at the replay of that last takedown that jitendra managed against jabriel hasanov the big question i think what uh, jitendra is asking and his camp more of more uh, emphatically is asking is was that a takedown from a standing position We'll take a look at it again. Yes, it is a takedown from a standing position. So I think they're very right in what they're asking for. And there's a rollover as well that he's attempting. 
So should have should there have been four points given? A rollover being done as well by Jitendra, and that happened just at the edge of the protection zone. So it wasn't as if Hasanov was actually outside the protection area, into the protection area. So they're asking for four points. Will they get it? We'll have to wait and watch. No, I think it's been rejected, and of course that because the protest unsuccessful, another point goes to Hasanov. So it's 10-2 now. Look at Asanov go, but Jitendra is giving it everything. He's like a man who's got nothing to lose. And that could be trouble for him. Two points given to Hasanov for a takedown and a rollover. Oh, look at that. Hasanov is really upset. He's got a 16 to 2 score reading in his favor. Thanks to the takedown and two rollovers, he's managed to accumulate six points from that move. Well, about now. Definitely his with uh, just a couple to go. In fact, uh, it's gone to 18, so that's more than the 15 point for technical superiority. Convincing win for Hasanov. I think that takedown that Jitendra got really egged Hasanov on, and he gave it everything. The grappler from Azerbaijan wins this 18-2 on technical superiority and that win gives the lead to Mumbai Maharathis in this contest. But remember, there are eight bouts still to come. We'll take a break and return soon with the women's 53kg bout.